-hmm. Sure, 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 sure. I do have to leave and get out of here before, um... He did look like a whole snack. That's actually pretty good. That's a pretty good joke. Um... I do have to leave a little bit so that... Well, it depends. Here. Okay, Google. What's the weather going to be at 10 p.m. tonight? 81. I still can't do it. I guess I'm going to have to get groceries delivered, man. I can't go grocery shopping when it's that fucking hot and leave on the car, in the car even for like five minutes. And I can't leave her at home, so... I guess I'll have to get groceries delivered or something. Because I, I, I can't. I can't go to the grocery store like that, so... Yeah, maybe I'll just set grocery store delivery. Maybe I'll play extra long tonight, see if we can get more done. I swear to God, Shonen. I'm kind of feeling it. I'm totally going to jinx myself, but I'm kind of feeling it. I'm not as terrified, and I'm feeling more just like, let's progress. You know what I mean? Like, let's get through here. Maybe because I got to a big moment in the story, but still. Also, I made it. I just want to point this out. This is the third person who's done this on Instagram. I made a short little video that said, That said, wait for it. Why is it not playing? I made a short little video that said Harry Potter is fucking stupid. Because look, Tom Marvolo Riddle. Oh, all the rearranging into I am Lord Voldemort. It's fucking stupid. That's a stupid moment. That's a stupid moment. And I have had three people, one of them being Garrett, being like, how dare you? Like, I'm joking. I like, I've read all the Harry Potter books and I've watched all the movies. I'm rewatching the movies currently. It's a joke. <laughs> I don't think Harry Potter is stupid. I just thought that moment was stupid. And I've had three people, like, one person was like, you don't like Harry Potter? Garrett said, how dare you? And then somebody just now was like, I've been saying it for years. It's a joke, dude. It's one stupid moment. Like, why did you think I was being serious about the entirety of Harry Potter? <laughs> uh, can you imagine using a 10-year-old's anagram? As See, that's what I was saying, Shonen. I was talking to Eric about this today. So, like, Tom Riddle is his given name by birth. So he literally chose the name Voldemort by making it into a purposeful anagram of Tom Riddle. He literally thought, what can I name myself in order so that I could rearrange my full name into the name? And not even the name. I am the name. The show is it's so dumb. <laughs> it's so stupid. Oh, but I mean, yeah. it was it was a joke, people. Harry Potter's cool. <laughs> I'm enjoying it. I'm rewatching the movies. It's kind of fun. All right, jeez. <laughs> Teddy's one step closer to big mommy milkers. Excuse you? Is there a boss in this game that's big mommy milkers? What do you mean? Flight, flight of death or theft of death at death and that's kind of cool but still man also in the movies Tom Riddle's middle name was never mentioned until that one point Tom Marvolo Riddle comes up right then when he rearranges his fucking name to say I am Lord Voldemort <laughs> there's just a lot of stupid moments in the movie that make a lot more sense in the book but uh, it's very silly it's silly. Oh, cool, 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 cool. Love it. Cool. Dope, dope. Love that. Yeah, I might just schedule groceries to be delivered tomorrow and just uh, keep playing tonight, see if we can make progress. Well, I'm not gonna, I don't know. I'm probably not gonna play past 10, but. 
maybe I'll play a little bit fast. Who knows? Remember in Harry Potter where everybody doesn't believe that dark wizards would come back to life despite the fact that there are like a million ways to prevent one's death? Dude, there's so many things I've had to ask my friends to like remind me of about Harry Potter and how it works. They're oh! Dead. They're all dead. What is it? The engine room. What the fuck are you talking about? She killed them all! Fuck. What the hell is going on? We need some weapons. Is there any weapons on this ship? I would love to continue to talk about Harry Potter. We will in a minute. Because it's very way. interesting. Just so realized I now have access to five streaming services. I have probably the same, if not more. I have six, at least. It's off the top of my head. Also, I don't think I've told this to Shonen yet. And Shonen's my movie TV guy that I always am interested in his opinion. I'm watching Jack Ryan, the Amazon Prime show. Really enjoying it. Finished season one. Thought it was very fun. Thought it was very good. Enjoyed myself. I'm about halfway through season two. Thanks for making me feel like an underperformer. No, I, I only... I probably only have one more than you. Literally because of the iCarly reboot. <laughs> It happened last week, so I got a free trial for Paramount Plus. <laughs> so that's probably why I have one more than you. Right, Shonen? Shonen, was it, uh, have you, you've watched the show? It's really fun. It's really good. Like, here is the basic review of at least season one. It had a lot of my favorite parts from the bullshit garbage CW Arrowverse, but my favorite parts, as in the, the good little bits sprinkled in there. And... Reminded me very much of, um, like, Netflix MCU when it comes to, like, Daredevil, but also Jessica Jones. And, like, this is what I will say in a very non-spoilery way. The end of season one, season one sets itself up to kind of end in a very, like, you know, Daredevil, Wilson Fisk fight in the, in the alleyway, you know what I mean? Like, oh, this is my city. Like... <laughs> It sets itself up to kind of be like that. And it does sort of end in a in a way like that, but not exactly. It ends in a more like I don't want to say realistic, but it ends in like a It is a lot more realistic than fucking Daredevil and Wilson Fisk in an alley. Like it is very much just this is like the end of Jack Ryan season one is kind of a show off, show, showdown between the, the, the protagonist and the antagonist. But like in a way where it is not far fetched that that meetup happened. Like it just kind of happened to be that way. And I thought it was realistic. And I was worried that if they did something like that, it would not be satisfying, but it was. Like the way they cut it off, the way the way it ended was a little like abrupt, but very satisfying because it was a it was an intelligent way to end it. And I think that is like the strength of the character and the show. I think it's really cool. I'm really enjoying it. Does that make sense? I hope it makes sense. It's cool. I liked it a lot. This one also sets itself up to being the prequel to Hunt for Red October. I don't know anything actually about like Tom Clancy shit. <laughs> Forgot about uh, uh, Prime Video. Yeah, Prime Video. The iCarly reboot is um, quite good. It's weird. I have mixed thoughts about the iCarly reboot. But it's weird. Not in a bad way. It, it is good. It's just odd. It's not exactly what I expected. There's three episodes, which is good. I thought they would just release one, but there's three of them. Yeah, Shonen, that's what I, re I, I realized at one point. At, at a certain point, it became like a brand, right? Where other people wrote similar kind of books and they call them Tom Clancy books, but he's not the actual author. Sean Connery, Alec Baldwin movie, Hunt for Red, Red October. Interesting. Uh, Tyson kept telling me to watch the Harrison Ford uh, Jack Ryan movies. Good shit, Garrett. Shout out to Drake and Josh. I might actually go through the entire original iCarly show. I'm not gonna lie. 
I feel very happy right now and not as tense because I don't have weapons. I'm just Mia. There's no weapons. So there's literally no chance of a monster showing up for me to fight because I don't have weapons. So I'm like, oh, cool. <laughs> like, I, I'm cheating, man. I'm seeing through the game. She is not my child. What does it say? Captain. Uh, just a bunch of names of the crew. <gasps> Fuck. God damn it. Right when I, I just... I just said that I felt at ease. I mean, it's still not a monster for me to fight, but like... It was a jump scare. God damn it. Uh, did you hear slash see that apparently Drake Bell's just like a piece of shit? <laughs> apparently he's like getting... Like he's either in jail or he was being tried for something. So have a different feel of them. Like he gets a little too action, right? Me too, Shonen. And I thought they balanced the like. When I read the general premise of Jack Ryan, the show was like, oh, he's an analyst, but he keeps getting pulled back into the action. I thought it was gonna be very silly and kind of cheesy as to how that happened. But in practice, in the show, I didn't think it really was. I thought it kind of worked. Like, it all made sense as to whenever he did have action scenes, whenever he was doing action-y shit. It was like, made sense, didn't feel forced. Like, I thought that was cool. And I like that aspect of, um, she's inside me. She's inside everyone. Yikes. long as it's consensual which i don't think it is um but yeah i like that it's really great john krasinski dude i think he did a really good job too i'm about halfway through season two i was gonna finish season two this week but this weekend but then i started a harry potter rewatch so i'm probably on that for now i also have some other shows let me take a look real quick Handmaid's Tale, I'm like one episode behind. Superman and Lois. I haven't watched this week's My Hero Academia either. Yeah, that's about it. I gotta catch up on Flash and Legends of Tomorrow before I get so far behind they're not on the website anymore. Watching through... <laughs> like my ex. <laughs> that's a better joke. Oh. It's the child! She's the real vi villain. What? What are this you? This reminds me of Samantha. <laughs> I kind of like this, actually. Y'all remember the Samantha shit from, like, Black Ops 1 zombies? That shit was fucking cool. God, the zombie storyline was cool. I'm gonna play zombies, dude. I bought Black Ops Cold War. I'm excited. Also, now that we mentioned iCarly for a second, I now have the theme song stuck in my head. Wake up the members of my nation. There's no time to be. There's no chance unless you take one. Turn to turn to see the brighter side of every situation. Serenading the dead guy. <laughs> Carry your best and leave the rest to me. Leave it all to me. Yeah, I'm excited about season two and three of uh, Invincible. Honestly, I need to be reading. I need to get back to reading Invincible. What's the brightest side? What are you talking about? You said. What did I say? I didn't say anything. Wait. I'm tired of waiting. Okay. Well. Excuse me. What's the shadows? Uh, yikers? Damn it. I, d there's nothing. I can't go anywhere. Choosing to go invincible, knowing as little as possible about the comics. 
I think you should. I think you should read the comics, but that's just personal. Comics are very different. And what they choose... I am... After reading the comics and watching the show, I think it is really cool to see what they adapt and what they don't and what they choose to put in at certain moments. Like, it is an incredible adaptation because they are taking the source material and not exactly, like, well, no, they they are taking the source material, being very faithful with it, but also changing it to fit the medium of television. Like, I don't know. It's they're, they're killing it, man. I don't know what to do here, by the way. It's what an adaptation should be. Am I right, though, Shonen? Like, do you get what I'm saying? Like, it's... They, they are changing shit and adapting it without changing the overall fucking story and plot beats, but, like, changing shit around for, like, the pacing of TV. And, like, I don't know. It's not just straight book to TV or book to movie. It literally is, like, making it a good TV show while still hitting the right plot beats. Well, I'm just going to go with it. Brighter side of every situation. I take that back, by the way. Oh, fuck me! God damn it. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. Fuck me in the asshole. Please don't kill me. I know there are monsters everywhere. Fucking shit on my dick hole. Am I safe? Did I just get through that? Because I could have been stuck there for so long. There's still a chance. If I die, it might send me back to that. Frame for frame ad ad adaptation of the, yeah. Yeah, I, I, I think they genuinely put a lot of thought into that. Yeah, 100% Shona. It's such a good, I think Invincible so far is literally, oh fuck me, no way. I'm gonna have to go back down there, aren't I? I have to go back down. I guess I'll go through the other door? Fuck. Oh wait, no, no, no. No, we're okay, we're okay, for now. Please don't have more monsters I have to run from. Please, for the love of God. Okay, thank God. Never thought I'd be happy to see you. Hello. Watch it. Okay. What? Why? You oh, need it's, to it's remember. Okay. So we can be this entire ship is an entire puzzle? Shut the fuck up. No. I don't believe you. I don't want to believe you. I'm choosing not to. Just gonna Alan, focus on you're this. getting worse. And she must have infected me during the attack. Oh, I watched all the video tapes. Yeah, too well, far gone, anyway. You guys can't see it, but I got an achievement for watching all the video tapes. <laughs> all right, calm down, bud. But it serves me right. It's my fault she got out. Yeah, it serves you yeah. right, you fucking. It jerk. is your fault. Yeah, it get him. Let you die. She didn't attack you. It's part of her imprinting protocol. I can't believe this is happening. Here, take it. It has her tissue samples. You find her. You fix this. Okay, Evie, where are you? Huh. What was that? What did I just pick up? Special Operations Division, Director Alan Droney and Caretaker Mia Winters. Recent reports suggest that if Evelyn remains at her current location, she is at a high risk of being stolen by opposing organizations. Your orders, therefore, are to transfer Evelyn to our Central American branch for safekeeping until further notice. During transfer, be sure to adhere to the following protocols. 
Act as parental guardians for Eve Evelyn at all times to avoid suspicion. Manage Evelyn's vi vitals via the genome codex provided. If the mission is compromised beyond reconciliation, dispose of Evelyn. Jesus. Okay. Yikers. Oh! Oh, the videotape has a has a gun. Usually the videotapes are just like short little stories where you kind of run through. You don't normally have to fight. This should be interesting. All right. So I assume Evelyn is the girl, so we're gonna get some backstory here. I'm actually interested in her story. Pepe laugh, oh great. Yikers. Oh, so this is the ship before it crashed. Shonen, why are you Pepe laughing at me? You lack critical information? Such as? What is, what is that supposed to mean? Like, I don't, I don't know, what, what, what do I do with that? You'll find out? I don't understand! Am I Evelyn? <laughs> no, I'm Mia, I'm Mia Winters. Is this a flashback of Mia though, that she doesn't remember? That's it, very interesting. Cool. cool, 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 cool. She's vomiting. Damn, I'll have to reset. How's it going? She's vomiting. Far more in excess of her body mass. <laughs> oh, great. <laughs> We're gonna be seeing a lot more of her ugly friends if this keeps up. <laughs> All right, we need to find her and fast. This is getting out of hand. Agreed. I don't know why this is literally just making me excited to play Cold War Zombies. Cause it's reminding me of the zombie storyline. And the zombie storyline was fucking cool as shit. And I remember them at the end of Black Ops 4 saying that that was a conclusion. And now I'm like, wait, Cold War Zombies, that means there's like a new story. Maybe I could actually follow it. Probably not though, cause you know, it's been, it's been out for a long ass time, so. <clears throat> And I would actually need a group, and people are not going to play that with me. Monk ass. Am I supposed to go towards her? This is very weird. Because, like, normally you're not supposed to go towards the fucking, like, the danger in these games. But I'm going towards it. Can they open doors? I, I guess not. This is weird. I mean, I guess I have to go out that door. There's no other exit. Right? Well, I guess I can go through here. Are you gonna show me the watch? I was gonna... <gasps> I see you, motherfucker! Oh, I hate this. Let me guess, monster gonna come out of the elevator. Nope. 
least not for now. Just kidding! Oh, fuck! Fuck! Go! Cool! This is fine. Like, they are faster and more resilient than the regular ones, and I don't like it. It's not cool, man. I'm trying not to waste ammo, just headshots all day, baby. You know what I mean? Headshots. Clicking heads and ripping them to shreds. That's what they call me, dude. I can't even move stuff around in my inventory. Remote bombs. What is going on in this weird videotape section, dude? What is happening? Fuck off, sir. Setting you up for the entire ship puzzle? Oh, no. Oh. Do I have to avoid enemies? I'm the worst at that. I'm even, I'm even worse at that than like, than the regular version of the game where I have guns. Like I can get through RE7 because there's weapons that at least give me a false sense of comfort. Am I gonna have to avoid enemies? You don't have to avoid enemies if you kill them. Okay. But are they gonna set me up with guns? Like, cause I definitely don't have guns now over in the regular world as Mia. Interesting. I just, man, like out of all the horror games I've played, Outlast, I feel legitimately has been the worst. And it's because of, you just hide, you just run and hide. Like, you don't, there was one section at like the beginning of Outlast that was terrible. Strong acid that can dissolve certain metals. What did that say? What did my watch say there? with me right now okay where are you evie why why does the music have to do this is there i i guess i just leave oh I want to shoot so bad. Baby, wait! Uh, I hate this. Yes, but she ran off. 
She's making more friends, Alan. Those things are everywhere. I told you so. <coughs> are you She's okay? She's making more friends. You're just worried about getting Evelyn back. <sighs> I imagine there was going to be enemies when I went through the door. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Gave me more ammo. Also gave me more remote bombs. I don't know how those work. More ammo, thank God. Oh, he's already dead, damn it. Smart lad, Teddy. I'm sure you'll figure it out. Well, they're remote bombs. I'm sure you place them and then fucking explode them, but... I don't want to use them without fully knowing how they work. Bombs and claymores and trip mines in video games can be different. I see you, motherfucker. that sound actually have enemies this time in there? wait okay. emergency safety lockdown system has been engaged I wish there was a way to pull up your watch. Like, I'm not sure which way to go from here. Damn it. This is where Alan was. Evie's upstairs, it says. Alan? Alan, where the hell are you? Hmm. That's going to be blocked off. Oh. Okay. Hmm. Possible enemies. No. Okay. More remote bombs. Fuck, dude. I guess I have to use them. Next time I see an enemy, I'll try and use a bomb. We'll see how that. Oh, fuck me! Oh! Well, that was quite useful. It's not bad at all. God, it's giving me so many. in an evil whisper. <laughs> Why? Why am I doing this? You 
can get really close to them too. Like, you don't really have to be super careful about. Shit. About like blowing yourself up or anything. It's gotta be this way. If I encounter an enemy in the stairway, I am shooting this time. Cool, this is where we've already gotten here in the regular story. This is where we started the video. After we finish this videotape section, I am taking a short break. I have not gotten up since I started streaming. Alan! I think. How okay, buddy. Here? Where she's gonna fucking attack us? She's out of control. Without the treatments, she's deteriorating. <sighs> well, it's a good thing we're already dying. <coughs> Don't say that. She trusts you. That little bitch. She never trusts. Okay. okay. <laughs> Evie, no, Evie, Evie. Ellen, listen. I didn't mean to call you that. She's Evie. trying to mean, take control. To... You have to fight her. This kind of makes sense from earlier when Mia tried to kill us in the, in the house. Evelyn, stop. Stop right now. Don't touch me, don't. Shit. Cool. Oh, here she is! The woman of the hour. Oh. Wait. Wait. Is that the end of the videotape? No, 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 no. Okay, I didn't think so. But she has control of us now, right? Interesting. <laughs> Very interesting. Okay. Hmm. I guess she does not. Maybe she thinks she does? 